Waves are oscillations, either through a medium or a material, or even through a vacuum, as in the case of electromagnetic light waves, for example. Now, the common theme of all waves is that they transfer energy, energy from one place to another. And let's take a look at the two main types of waves, the two families of waves. So here we've got a wave called a longitudinal wave. And if we look at one of these coils of the springs, you'll see that the coils move back and forth along the direction of the pulse. The next type of wave is a transverse wave. So the springs move perpendicular to the wave motion. Let's try that again. So longitudinal and the, the coils move back and forth parallel to the direction of the wave pulse. Here's the pulse going along. Whereas transverse wave, the pulse is going along like this, but we can see that the coils are moving perpendicular to the direction of the wave motion. Now these two are very important um, wave families to recognize. So here we go. Oscillations in a longitudinal wave are parallel. Parallel, watch out for the spelling of parallel, to the direction of energy transfer. So you can see that the, the, uh, the material will oscillate back and forth along the direction of the wave motion. I always remember it with sort of along. There we are. Oscillations in a transverse wave are perpendicular. Perpendicular at right angles to the direction of energy transfer. So here's a point on the on the material of the, the spring, and that's going up and down, but the wave motion itself is going to the right. Now sound waves are longitudinal. Longitudinal and should be able to show you a sound wave. Let's have a look. Here we are. It's caused by a vibration of a membrane, for example, your vocal cords, and that makes air molecules bounce into their neighbors and moves a pulse of energy along through the air. Now the actual air molecules just move back and forth along the direction of the wave motion, so parallel, so it's a longitudinal wave. Electromagnetic waves are transverse. Electromagnetic uh, waves are waves like light and uh, infrared heat, for example, and they can travel through a vacuum, so they don't need any material to go through. And they're transverse waves, which means that they, they oscillate at, at right angles to the direction of the wave energy motion. Now mechanical waves, e.g. on a slinky spring, can be either longitudinal or transverse. Longitudinal or transverse. And that was the example which you saw here, where we have a longitudinal wave. This is a slinky spring. And a transverse wave. where it's moving at right angles. And that's a mechanical wave because it needs a material to travel through.